Hello, chemistry seekers and lovers. I present you a topic of ideal and non-ideal solution. Under this, you learn positive deviation and negative deviations and various examples associated with it. Go ahead, watch the video and enrich yourself. Hello student friends, now we come to the main topic of an ideal and non-ideal solution. Now what do you mean by the word ideal solution? Now the ideal is a more often heard word that means obeys everything like in ideal gases. In this case for a solution it should obey Rolle's law. If you remember a law which is related to vapor pressure and Right, when you mix two substances to make up a solution, delta H should be zero. Delta H should be zero means no heat should be absorbed or liberated. Delta V mixing should be zero. That means there should be no change in the volume. That is, there should not be any expansion. There should not be any contraction. Uh, more often mathematically written as V final minus V A plus V B. I repeat, what is an ideal solution? Is that which obeys Rolle's law, delta H of mixing is 0, no heat is liberated or absorbed and delta V of mixing is 0, that means there is no expansion or a contraction of volume. This is a pictorial diagram where we are trying to see liquid A and liquid B molecules are mixed to give you a mixture of A and B. If you see properly, this is 50 ml of liquid A, 50 ml of liquid B and here it is shown 100 ml so if you put that value of v final it is 100 minus 50 of a and 50 of b if you calculate it is zero so delta v of mixing is zero in this case so it obeys one of the factor of Rolle's law now example of ideal mixture or an ideal mixture solution uh, examples are Mixture of N hexane and N heptane is one example of an ideal solution. Similarly, mixture of benzene and toluene is another example. Mixture of bromoethane, chloroethane is another example. Mixture of chlorobenzene, bromobenzene is another example. To summarize, mixture of hydrocarbons is one set and mixture of halohydrocarbons is another set. Halohydrocarbon means hydrocarbon and having halogen in it. Now, in all this mixture you will be seeing they will have no new type of a forces developed between them uh, you will realize because there is no new type of a force getting developed forces are of the same type so no new bond formed or no uh, stronger bonds broken so delta h is zero and delta v as you have seen above is zero and vapor pressure of a mixture will be as expected by Rolle's law to see that we will see in the first example n hexane you know N-hexane is hydrocarbon, non-polar, will have London forces. If you remember, London forces also called as dispersion forces, also called as keysum forces. N-heptane will have London forces. If you happen to mix N-hexane and N-heptane, they also have London forces. What you are able to realize, the force finally present is of the same type as it is present in the previous case. Here the word IMF stands for intermolecular force. Forces are of the same type, no new forces, such a mixture is an ideal mixture. Another example, benzene, toluene, benzene, toluene, hydrocarbon, non-polar, London forces. London forces, if you mix them, London force. Similarly, bromoethane, which is having a carbon-bromine bond, which is polar. When you know it is polar, it will have dipole-dipole force. London force is present in whether polar or non-polar molecule and you know what is the collective name for that van der Waal force. So intermolecular force present in bromoethane is van der Waal force. Similar grounds van der Waal force is present in chloroethane too and in the mixture again you have same set of force van der Waal force. So force are of the same type, no new force develop. It is a uh, typical feature of an ideal mixture. Similar example chromo right? Chlorobenzene, bromobenzene, repetitive, discussion and they are all example of ideal mixture. Those who want to know what is the short form they have given in IMF intermolecular force, dipole dipole force, London force and you all know Van der Waal force is a collective name for three forces 
dipole dipole force dipole induced dipole force and london force when you say the word ideal naturally another word comes in picture is non ideal which does not obey is rolds law over a larger range of composition or a concentration such a solution or a mixture is called as non ideal non ideal are for the two types first type non ideal solution with negative deviation ab once you say non ideal that means it doesn't obey the rolds law you will be seeing that vapor pressure will be less than expected the value of delta h is negative delta v is also negative 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 less marks means we say negative in our life okay so everything is negative therefore the deviation is called as negative deviation how to remember everything is negative delta h is negative delta v is negative and vapor pressure is less chalo we'll see an example if you take liquid a which has a a forces liquid b which has b b forces if you take a mixture of a and b they will have a b forces you are able to see diagrammatic representation we have shown they are coming much closer that means the forces between a b are stronger than what is present between a a and b b forces present between a and b are much stronger than what is present between a and b b when the forces are stronger what do you expect they will occupy the same volume or lesser volume lesser volume so if you go by the formula of delta v of mixing final minus individual sum you will find the answer is negative don't go by number just see the importance negative therefore delta v of mixing is negative negative deviation what is important for you all people to remember as a student they will have stronger forces than what is present between a a and b b now if you remember the previous basics now you will be quickly able to understand if you take a mixture of nitric acid and water nitric acid will have hydrogen bonding and london force it has nitric acid has hydrogen bonding by virtue of its structure the structure is like this anyone who has oh bond will have hydrogen bonding even water has hydrogen bonding if you remember thrice hydrogen bonding but when you mix nitric acid and water they'll have ionic bonding and you know ionic bonding is stronger than this all forces so forces are of stronger type forces are of stronger type if they are stronger type can i say new forces are getting developed if new forces are getting developed delta h will be negative remember strong right bond formation is exothermic and imagine there is as if new bond getting formed and you have already seen with the mathematical thing that how delta v is negative now if the forces are of stronger type what do you expect liquid molecules will stay closer or they will go away they will come closer as shown in the diagram if they come closer they will form vapors with difficulties if they form vapors with difficulty vapors will be less or more less vapors will be less you are able to see why less word because they will have less they will have lesser than what rolds law can calculate therefore negative deviation now you will find the repetitive discussion happening now phenol will also have hydrogen bonding by virtue of its oh aniline will have hydrogen bonding by virtue of its nh those who want to know the structure of phenol it has oh and those who want to know the structure of aniline cch5 nh2 it has nh bond that means it has hydrogen bonding but you know phenol is an acid aniline is a base so they will have ionic bonding because they'll have negative and positive and you know ionic bonding is stronger than hydrogen bonding also so stronger force if you take acetone and chloroform acetone is polar So we'll have dipole-dipole force here. Dipole-dipole force and London force. You can say Van der Waals force. Chloroform will also have dipole-dipole force and London force. You can say it's Van der Waals force. But when they come together, there is a dotted line and there's a hydrogen bonding. Can I say hydrogen bonding is stronger than the previous two? Yes, stronger force. That means non-ideal with negative deviation. A repeated example: HCl, water, H3O plus, and Cl minus ionic bonding. first three are the part of an ncert well this you can correlate and understand by logical science for the example three examples are already prescribed and mentioned in ncert textbook this was all about non ideal with negative deviation for a student to remember stronger force stronger force means less vapors 
न्यू बॉन्ड फॉर्म एज इफ तो नेगेटिव एंड डेल्टा वी मॉलिक्यूल विल कम मोर क्लोजर सो डेल्टा वी विल बी ऑल्सो नेगेटिव नाउ नॉन आइडियल विथ पॉजिटिव डिविएशन एग्जैक्टली रिवर्स विल हैपन नाउ मोर वेपर्स डेल्टा एच विल बी पॉजिटिव डेल्टा वी विल बी पॉजिटिव मोर रिमेंबर मोर मार्क्स मीन्स पॉजिटिव सो एवरीथिंग इज पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव डिविएशन I have purposely shown an example. A A type of forces, B B type of forces. You are able to see when A and B are mixed. Still, I have shown B is staying together only. A is also staying together only. B is staying together. A is staying together. That means we want to say A forces or B B forces are stronger than actually A B forces. So you should remember the forces between A B are actually weaker. In reality, weaker is not possible. You can remember. right it is weaker than one and almost equal to another you will understand what i say weaker than one and equal to another but whenever you want to say weaker forces rather than remembering weaker forces remember them as repulsive force imagine repulsive force so if we happen to mix 50 and 50 and they are repulsive forces they will not occupy 100 they will occupy more than 100 so 100.2 are you able to see So final is hundred point two minus fifty plus fifty. So it will be point two. Don't go by number. Go by that positive. Are you able to see delta V is positive in this case? So you remember weaker type of forces are present. Now check another right example. Now NCERT first two examples are there. Third and fourth can be correlated. If you take ethanol, if you take ethanol, ethanol, you know the structure. It's like this. Ethanol will have hydrogen bonding how many hydrogen bonding ethanol will have twice hydrogen bonding twice every molecule has twice like this water twice ethanol is twice water is thrice but if you imagine ethanol is added to water so water ka hydrogen bonding will get reduced and now we'll be left with almost same hydrogen bonding like ethanol are you able to see same as one but lesser than other now you understood the word Weaker than one, weaker than one, and same as other. Then it is an example of non-ideal with positive deviation. Example: ethanol and acetone. You know ethanol has hydrogen bonding because of virtue of its O H. Acetone has van der Waals force. So if you imagine acetone is added to ethanol, acetone in car will come between ethanol molecules. That means ethanol molecules hydrogen bonding will be gone. so you will be left with van der waal force which is present in all polar molecules are you able to see now you can correlate you are breaking a stronger hydrogen bonding and you are making a weaker bond breaking of bond is endothermic formation of bond is exothermic so you are breaking stronger bond to break stronger bond you have to supply heat supply heat means endothermic and above only we have seen delta v is positive So in this case, forces are weaker. You can imagine repulsive forces. Repulsive forces that means they will like to remain in the liquid state, or they want to go away. They want to go away. If they want to go away, they will form vapors easily. If they form vapors easily, they will form more vapors than what Rolle's law can see. You will find example gets repeated in methanol and CCL4. Methanol will have hydrogen bonding, while CCL4 has only London force, which can be also called as van der Waals force. Imagine you add CCL4 to methanol. so methanol ka hydrogen bonding in between ccl4 will come that means hydrogen bonding of methanol will be dropped and will become weaker like dipole dipole force that is a mixture of dipole dipole force mixture of dipole dipole force and london force called as van der waal force weaker force is coming stronger force goes away weaker force comes in therefore it will have weaker forces or repulsive forces so positive deviation right example repeats for acetone and carbon disulfide not example logic repeats so this was all about learning of ideal and non ideal solution those who want can go through this video again and understand the things so i'll stop here only thank you all of you thank you student friends